interrogation, we learned that a frontier fleet patrolling the borders of a vast interstellar empire was dispatched to destroy our planet. The captain claimed our people violated a 4,000-year-old treaty forbidding us to develop hyperspace technology. Extermination of our planet was the consequence. The subject did not survive interrogation. successful scanner data indicates asteroid density is highest in this region commence resource gather ready ready okay new heading set so my little resource collector goes out there or my resource controller rather Thank you, Fleet Intelligence. Okay, so I wonder if we're going to run back into any of the bad guys. I remember the broad strokes of the Homeworld campaign, but I really don't remember what happens from uh, mission to specific mission. That is a nice looking spaceship. I was always kind of curious about this section right here. Seems kind of weird. Actually, I don't even remember if that was in the original starship, uh, in the original mothership, or whether that's something that they added for uh, Homeworld Remastered. It looks vaguely familiar, but I don't remember this back section being there. Oh well, I can go back and check it later. So yeah, my objective, begin collection of resources. Well, that's... Okay. So, I suppose, while we're waiting for this resourcing operation to go do its thing, we can talk a little bit more about the homeworld universe. Now, one of the interesting things about the Kushan is that they had uh, legends, uh, religious beliefs, that were clearly driven by the landing of their ancestors on Karak. It's so, like they had legends that you know, they once lived in paradise and were cast down. Uh, legends that if they attempted to return to the skies, the gods would strike them down for their arrogance. Uh, the, the sort of belief systems that seem to be the terms of this interstellar treaty morphed through thousands of years of living in isolation into legend and myth and whatnot. It's a somewhat interesting uh, if, you know, somewhat uh, common trope. for these sorts of xenogenesis stories of civilizations cast out into the unknown that forget who they are or what they are. Yep, you know what? I was just commenting on how fantastic the docking sequence was. 
on these missions, and then I just saw that and that ship go clipping right through the resource controller. Trajectory locked in, hailing signal open on all channels. Entering make it speed now. Almost there. Wait. We've lost guidance and are being drawn in. Ah, uh, the Bentuzi. Actually, one of the more interesting elements of the Homeworld universe. There are. And the Bentuzi trade ship is smaller than I remember. I feel like that was much larger in the original Homeworld. Ah, uh, the Bentuzi. Ion cannons. Ah, uh, accept offer. Okay, so uh, the Titan are coming, which means I should probably be building more warships. Okay, um, so I'm going to build another interceptor wing to go as fast response to these guys. Hmm, I wonder. I have the access to build the support frigate. I wonder if that will significantly increase the effectiveness of my interceptor groups. Interceptor group. Yeah. Roger. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and blow up those guys who are going after our resourcing operations. Yeah. That would be great. Stay on top of them. Acknowledge. Resource collector under attack. Destination locked in. Interceptor complete. Reporting. Attack vector laid in. Understood. I got one. Attack coordinates locked in. Interceptor complete. Ready. Moving to destination. Target confirmed. Interceptor complete. Roger. Your target. Attack coordinates locked in. 
Heavy Corvettes, resource controller. Okay, I have nine interceptors here. I guess they'll be group two. So I guess one of them has already been shot down. That's sad. Oh, no, 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 no. he's just back here. Whoa. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, now we, we in fact need many more interceptors than we have. Okay, so all of my interceptors are around here in this area. Uh, the... Oh boy. That's a whole bunch of Corvettes there. Um... Oh hey! Okay, my support frigate is still online there, but holy cow, this could get bad fast. And my support frigate is fixing the mothership. Okay, and apparently two salvage corvettes is enough to steal one of these, uh... Ooh, wow, that's not good. Steal one of these ion bay beam frigate things. Uh, so... Let's send these guys out to grab that one. It's kind of hard to tell... What? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell how many baddies are still around the mothership at this point. I feel like not enough to justify keeping the interceptor group there. Okay, cool. So we've got... Okay, so we are actually capturing these frigates here. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, I suppose I haven't been very talkative <laughs> as I've been doing this. Um, it's not quite overwhelming to uh, be processing multiple fronts yet, but uh, it's definitely getting hectic. Okay. Yep. And so these are 
the Tronic Raiders. Now the Tronic Raiders actually are not uh, they're not the Tidian Empire. They're not the people who just burned Karak to the ground. But they're working with them. Uh, so for tactical purposes they might as well be. So I have all of these Ion Array frigates now that have been grabbed by the Salvage Corvettes and dumped into the mothership. And when they come out, they work for me. Oh, hey, there's more approaching from up there. Um, Okay, I need to get these guys down here. I have the ion frigates. So now, hopefully, we're going to be able to just blow them away. Or blow the carrier away with my stolen ion array frigates, and then I'll be able to steal these two other ion array frigates with my uh, salvage corvettes. Or not. Uh, holy cow. <laughs> they, they figured out what the real threat is. Um... Yeah, that guy's got quite a bit of uh, turn to him. Okay, so let's replace that salvage corvette that we just lost. Uh, yeah, you dock right on there. And uh, when we have a buddy for you, we're going to send him out here. Okay, so now hopefully these guys are getting ready to blow up this Tyrannic Raiders carrier. Because I think that that's the same carrier that was bothering me back at the, uh, back on the outskirts of the Karak system. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. That's doing some damage. Out of curiosity. Okay, I only have five fighters left in the uh, second group there. So let's see. I should be. There should be some way to select everything here. Select all the units of a particular type. Uh, let me look that up between games. Okay, cool. And my, uh, my other salvage corvettes have grabbed the, I guess, fifth now. I already forget. We are definitely Grand Theft Starshipping our way to quite a fleet here. I get the impression that the carrier here is just not really a high level element in the equation anymore. Uh, it's just kind of sitting here and waiting to get torn apart by these ion cannon frigates 
and really isn't able to do anything much about it. So this is sort of just a waiting game at this point. Uh, how do I stop him? We can try to blow him up. Yeah, that, that Corvette is in pretty bad shape. It needs to be helped. Oh wow, yeah. It's <laughs> it's it's literally a blaze in space. Yeah, uh, some people say you can't can't burn in space, but it turns out you can. You just have to provide your own oxygen. And uh, and you can burn pretty well. Okay, so that's cool. So when my Corvette's repair on the resource controller, they dock up front here. Get repaired. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wait, what happened? Oh, curses. While I was watching, I must have, uh, I must have let that ship jump away. Okay, well, that's probably a good stopping point for this play session. Once again, I'm John Brewer. This has been Homeworld Remastered, as I'm playing through it again, and uh, we'll continue this at some future date. Bye-bye for now.